how to export Google Sites website to your computer. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can export your Google Site to your computer. It is very easy and simple. All you have to do is you follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to go to Google Sites. Here we are going to see our uh, website that we have created. Now, the uh, trick right here is to go ahead and select the Google account and unify all the process or, or the website or the integration from Google that I am going to use with only this uh, account. For example, I am going to use this account. It is named Jack Smith FBADS at gmail.com. Then I am going to open up uh, the Google Sites first. Then we are going to open Google Drive or Drive like that. Google.com. Here we have the drive. Make sure that your uh, file here is going to be uh, for or the account here is going to be uh, for uh, Jack F. Smith FBADS. This is uh, just a disclaimer, guys. Everything created in this video, such as email addresses, uh, phone numbers, and Google accounts, are created for the sake of the video. They are not used for any personal uses. Now, Let's go back to the Google Sites. Here we have the website. Let's go ahead and search for the name of the website that I want to export. Let's see here we have the recent sites. We have Jack Smith website. When you click on it, you will be guided to the website. This is the website as you can see and here is the name of that website. When you go to Google Drive, you will see that there are a lot of websites that uh, are similar name from Google Sites. If you want, for example, to search for the uh, website that you want to export or the specific website, copy the name of that website, go on Google Drive, search for it, and boom. Here we have the site. And as you can see, we have it in the form of Google site. It has the same logo as Google Sites. Now, the thing that we are going to do is right here, going to make a copy of that website. I'm going to make a copy of it then it will be named normally copy of this. I'm going to show the file location. Here we have it. I'm going back right here, get the file right now. I'm going to let it here. Then simply I'm going to the home. I'm going to click on that with the right button of that mouse. Then I'm going to create a folder for this. Here we have the folders. I'm going to add a folder. I'm going to click on new right here click on folder and here I'm going to put it Jack or website for example I'm going to name it website like that click on create and then we are going to search for the uh, website that we want and here we have the copy of it I'm going to make it uh, right here or deplace it to the uh, the folder I'm going simply to go ahead and uh, make the movement to do that all you have to do is to click on organize click on move then we are going to see the folders that we have here we have the folder which is the only folder that we have we click on it click on move and simply you are going to see it it is moved to the folders now let's go to the next step which is going to google google.com then we are going to put google takeout take out then simply take on or enter sign into your account of google takeout here we have the account of google takeout now we have here a different google account on the takeout so i am going simply to click on and select the correct uh, google takeout account the same for the Google Drive and Google Sites. Then we are going to select or include the data. I'm going to deselect all. Then I am going to scroll down a little bit here until I see the drive sign or the drive logo. And also I can read drive. As you can see, after a few scroll downs, we have here the drive. I'm going to select that, enable it. And here we have three options, the multiple formats, advanced settings, and all drive data included. 
I'm going to click on this, all drive data included. Then I am going to deselect all the folders. Simply, I'm going to deselect them all. And only I will check the box that has the website. Click on OK. And here we have it. Everything is set up. I am going simply to go to the next step. To see the next step, all you have to do is to drag down uh, or drop right here the scroller to the end. Click on next. Here we have the choose the file type, frequency, and destination. You can transfer the destination from that file off from drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, to box, or send download link via email. I will send it via email. Here, the frequency you can go ahead and export once or export every two months for one year. I'm going to set here only export once for only one export. And here, the file type and size, you can go ahead and put the file type. I will let it as zip. And here we have the file size. You can go ahead and put the file. If it is a big file, you can go ahead and make some chunks or some uh, reported files or to download these. I will put here the file as 1 GB. And then I'm going to click on Create, Export. Here we are on the last step. Google is creating a copy of data from Drive. This will take a little bit of time. You will receive an email when the export is done. The email will contain the uh, takeout or the file that you have. Simply, I'm going to Gmail. Then we are going to select the same email that we have made on the uh, beginning, which is Jack Smith. And in a few seconds, it will show you here the Google Takeout document. You can go ahead and manage the Google Takeout request or download your files. Here it will make uh, the download link and generate it. So here we have to put the password for the account. So uh, you can go ahead and download it. Here I'm going to be clicking on next. Here we have the, uh, the download file. You can create a new export. And here we have the takeout. As you can see, it has been downloaded. Here we have the drive. We have the website, the copy of Jack Smith. And here we have the drafts. We have here the home page, the product page, and the pictures that are uploaded to that website. And all the elements. Of course, we have the home.html and the product that are HTML also. I'm going here to the website and as you can see only we have two cases this is a demo website and here we have it that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one